Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Net Producer Magazine reporting to you from Folsom, California, headquarters of the California Walnut Board and Commission. I'm here with Pam Gravier. She is the uh, Senior Marketing Director International for the California Walnut Commission. Uh, we've got some, some great news for the industry. Growers are going to get paid by the USDA for uh, trade mitigation to offset some of these trade issues that we're having internationally. And I wanted to talk to Pam about how that's going to work, uh, what growers need to do to, to get the payments. So growers need to go to their local farm service agency office, but you can't just show up. You have to call first to make an appointment, and um, you have to bring in proof of the acres that you own and you have planted, and then they will work out uh, a plot and figure out what your payment schedule is. For nut producers, walnut growers, the rate is $146 per acre, But in the first round of payments, you'll only see 50% of that, which is $73 an acre if you qualify. Now, when you say if you qualify, what does that mean? Sure. So um, you cannot have an adjusted gross income that exceeds $900,000 from your tax records from the years 15, 16, and 17. However, there is an exception that if 75% of your adjusted gross income from those years comes from either ranching or farming, you would qualify. Right. Any other details that uh, growers should know about this program? Yeah, I think it's really important to get there early to sign up. Sign up started on July 29th, and they go through December 6th. Even if you wait to go sign up, it doesn't affect your first payment. So, you know, there's a lot of people calling and making appointments, so you need to get that done. Um, There's also on the website for the Farm Service Agency this handy checklist. And this goes through the different documents and forms that you'll have to fill out in order to apply for the program. Great. Now, um you know, we're, we still have these trade issues going on, and it's going to go into another season, and no telling when this international trade dispute is going to come to an end. Well, we do have uh, negotiating teams from the United States Trade Representative Office that are actively in negotiations with all of the countries that are tariff affected. Um, do we have answers yet? The answer is no. But the good news is, is that some of the challenges we faced going into last year's crop season have gone away. And so this year, at the beginning of our crop season, some of those obstacles, not having to do with tariffs, but having to do with competing regions and countries, um, don't have crop that's kind of plugging up the system. So it looks like we'll have a good start to our year. Right, so Chile is a major producer of walnuts, and so that was one of those countries that you're talking about there. Yeah, um, Chile had its largest crop ever last year, and they uh, harvest at a different time than we do because they're in the southern hemisphere. So at the time these trade issues started, um, they were hit too. um, And they had to find homes for their crop, and in doing so, they kind of plugged up the system with some excess supply at the time we were starting to harvest and ship last year. But this year, um, even though their crop size is similar, you know, it's not a surprise with these trade issues that they also faced. So they've pretty much sold through their crops so that when we start harvest, we don't think we'll be up against that again. So hopefully we can count on prices this year to be a little better. We hope. (laughs) I know you can't say anything at this point. But uh, we we hope for a good rest of the season and uh, uh, wish growers the best luck of harvesting this year. And be sure to contact the Farm Service Agency. Their local Farm Service Agency to schedule an appointment. Yeah, so get that going and and get some free money, huh? Yeah. (laughs) Thank you for taking the time here. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.